Hey guys, how's it going? I don't know how long this video is going to be, but I'm going to intend to keep it as short as possible. Simply because I don't like thinking about it, I don't like talking about it, but god damn it, somebody has to because I feel like nobody else will. Nobody else really has talked about um, 9-11, or at least nobody on YouTube has uh, just genuinely wanted to talk about 9-11, other than the fact that, hey, it happened. And I'm not one of those people that, that would just say, hey, you, you know, it, it was something very, very terrible that happened. I'm sorry for everybody. I think it's time to move on. I'm not like that. I, I, I simply don't think, as a country, we should move on from something that happened like 9-11. It was a terrible event, and I hate to say it, but, you know, a lot of people died, you know, uh, and it, it's things like that that just make me think when's the next terror event going to happen? When's the next 9-11 going to happen? Is America prepared for another, another travesty such as 9-11? And it's a question I ask myself almost on a monthly basis. Is America ready for another national tragedy? Something to talk about for the election, maybe. Who I fucking know. Some people think that 9-11 was an inside job. A lot of people want to believe that 9-11 um, was perpetrated by President George W. Bush at the time. Or perpetrated by Demo uh, Democrats, early liberals... Um, or Republicans or just the United States government in joint connect whatever some people want to blame other countries like Russia I mean why not they already blame Russia for the uh, for the fact that the, the people voted for for a guy that they believe should be president. And honestly, I I just blame pure people's stupidity. I was old when it happened. I was around 8 or 10 when it happened. Um, I cannot for the life of me remember exactly what happened. It's just something, something about it that I can't exactly remember um, what happened that day. Of course, then you'll see, oh, you can just watch YouTube videos. Well, yeah, that's true. But I'm specifically telling you that I, as myself, do not specifically remember what happened that day. Other than um, the school was pretty much in shutdown mode that day. That's really all I remember was the school um, the school I was at. Remember, I was still living in, uh, in Delphi, Indiana at the time. Uh, this event happened. I was still in school, or in elementary school, back in Indiana. I didn't even know what was going on. I didn't see any uh, videos, pictures, news reports. Um, all 
I knew was something happened and it get explained to us eventually. Well, I didn't really get a full explanation until a few years later um, when I was, I, w I want to say around 12 or 13. It was about the time, it was, yeah, it was around the time uh, that I moved to Georgia was when I found out that this event happened. And um, it's kind of crazy when you think about it, because I moved to Georgia in 2006 and didn't, didn't talk about, didn't know that this event happened until 2006, five years later five years after the fact that it happened, going through uh, the rest of my elementary school years, uh, going through um, one year of middle school, or at least half of the year of middle school, moving down to Georgia, and then realizing, hey, this happened. Now, I may or may not have been exaggerated about my age, because I, again, I, I don't fucking remember. I don't exactly remember what happened, when it happened, or how old I was. All I know is that something happened on September 11th, 2001. Don't exactly know what until um, September 11th, 2006. Um, and I can't remember if that was a weekend or not. Uh, but I remember waking up and the new uh, and my dad had turned on the television to watch the 9/11 ceremonies and that's really much when i found out what happened uh, i started watching videos i started looking at pictures cuz youtube youtube was around youtube was definitely a thing um, in 2006 it was a very very early stage of youtube uh, if I remember right, but YouTube was definitely a thing. Um, it's a brand new thing, a very, very scary, scary website uh, to to be on at the time. And I, well, after I found out what happened. I was in a state of shock that I never really got out of. I really never got over that initial shock like, holy shit, that, that fucking happened? Are you, are you kidding me? How did this happen? Every year, I learn something more about 9-11. Or at least every year since then, I learned something more about 9/11. I, I, I watch uh, I watch different broadcast videos. I uh, I watched all the simulate uh, all the simulators uh, of people just simulating the event, whether it be radio broadcasts uh, from air control, air traffic control, um, all the recordings. I've seen all the fucking movies at this point. Uh, Hell, I, I pretty much made it a um, made it a thing to at least watch two films and two documentaries of 9/11. And the two films that I've watched since two years ago, and probably will continue watching for the next who knows when, uh, is. United 93 and World Trade Center. Uh, World Trade Center, of course, uh, had Nicolas Cage in it. He did a fantastic job uh, playing a, a, a sergeant in the film. Very, very emotional film. Though you probably want to, you would most likely would not catch me crying watching the film, but I would definitely uh, not have any words whilst watching said film. Uh, and the same thing goes with United 93 as well. United 93 uh, gave a few perspectives, 
uh, the perspective of the people inside the airplane, which nobody even knew um, what was even going on in that airplane, besides the fact that, hey, um, they, they did leave a, a few voice messages to their family. Thank God for the phones on the plane. But um, they left uh, voice messages to their, uh, or at least some of them did, to their family uh, about the, uh, what their plan was uh, to bring down said plane. Um, I've seen all the alternate history videos, one specifically by Alt History Hub, uh, about what if United 93 had hit its target. And it had two alternatives. One was hitting the White House, and the other was hitting the Capitol building. Um, and I highly recommend watching that video from Alternate History Hub. I just hi I highly recommend watching that specific video purely because of what really could have happened if that plane had to hit its target. several other terror attacks since 9-11, such as the Boston bombings, uh, just to name one. Um, airport and security in general have just become tighter. And honestly, all this really could have been prevented to begin with. I'm not blaming anybody. I, I can't really blame anybody. It's been 18 years after the fact. But the point is, is that, you know, 18 years later, when can we finally say that, you know what, I think I'm good. I think I'm over it. I, I think we're done grieving. I think it's time to move on. Um, it's been 18 years since the incident. I, I'm in no way, absolutely no way am I saying it's time to get over it. I rather would not stop doing what we've been doing for the past 18 years. Uh, reading the names, um, showing the documentaries, playing the movies, so on and so forth. Because um, I'm going to wake up early in the morning anyways and I'm going to turn on Fox News, and I'm going to do what I've done for the past, uh, pretty much ever since since uh, 2006, was sit down and watch the name scroll across the bottom of my screen, uh, and listen to the people read the names of the deceased, and uh, sit back and remember. A lot of people want to forget, and honestly, I can't blame them. I can't really blame anybody that wants to forget. If you want to forget, I'm not blaming you. I would not ever blame anybody that, that you know, th this event was just too harsh for them, or uh, PTSD, or simply, I've done my part, I just want to move on. I understand. Okay, and I am in no way, shape, or form um, shaming anybody that wants to move on. I actually highly recommend it. it it's one of the uh, most important things to do when in mourning is when it's time to move on. And we've been in mourning, you know, for over 18 years. Uh, every September 11th, we decide to get together and remember. Um, so, I think when it all comes down to it, when it really comes down to it,
stop remembering, to stop um, to, to, to stop. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna do that. I'm not that kind of a person. I would much, much rather people be at peace. And just remember the good times. Just remember the fun times. Because at the end of the day, that's really what matters most. That really... is what should matter at the end of the day. It's remembering, remembering your loved ones. Sharing your experiences. And never letting history die. You know, we must agree that history must never, ever be repeated. And people are already saying, oh, well, we already have another Hitler uh, as president. Well, no, we don't. We don't have another Hitler as president. I, I hear people saying, oh, we're, we're due for another 9-11. I don't think so. I think our security is better than ever. God forbid we do have another 9-11. I think this time we might be ready for it. God forbid if terrorists decide to take some planes somehow, some way. Um, you know, I, I genuinely believe we will be ready for if that should be the case. Uh, I think my dad's traveling today, so it's going to be, uh, it's going to be a minute, but you know, I think we'll be all right. All right, so I think that's that's pretty much it. Uh, I hope everybody enjoyed this video. Uh, I, I do have to end it to get back my GPS because I have no idea where I'm going now. Um, so yeah, thank you guys for watching. And um, I guess if I had anything else I really wanted to say, um, it would have to be, do any of you remember what happened on September 11th? 2001. And when I mean, do you remember what happened? I don't mean, you know, have you seen the videos? I genuinely am asking, do you specifically remember what happened September 11th, 2001? And if you do, share your stories down below. Just share whatever you want to share. Share it down below in the, in the comments. Um, don't let your history die. Don't let don't let this history die. That's really all I have to say about that. So, again, thank you guys for watching. And as always, I will see you guys next time. Bye.